Greetings critical viewers, this is I your fearless leader, and this is my top 10 amnesia custom stories video. Just as a disclaimer, I haven't played every custom story or full conversion mod for Amnesia. There's a lot that I haven't gotten around to yet, including Insomnia, Dispendentia, The Great Work, Harvest Prologue, and plenty of others. This is just a list of my favorites of the ones that I've played, and if you're curious, you can click the link in the annotation to go to my Amnesia Custom Stories playlist that features a full playthrough of every game on this list, as well as others that I've played. Now that's out of the way, let's get into the top 10. Emma's story is one of the few custom stories I've played that successfully blends creativity with plain old original amnesia elements. A lot of custom stories feel the need to incorporate a new monster, imported models, or other custom content in order to make it feel like a new experience. But Emma's story manages to do that with just the same old stuff used in a new way. It's some good stuff. A solid custom story with some creative twists I haven't seen in other custom stories. Through the portal, it just has some of the flat-out best visuals I've seen in any Amnesia custom story. It is short, but just walking around and looking at the environment is awesome enough. There aren't that many scares, but this one's more about atmosphere and something different than scaring the pants off of you. I recommend it just because it's a great change of pace if you've played a lot of these things, like I have. The second chapter of The Attic is even better than the first, in my opinion, and not only does it get pretty creative with the scares, but it has an awesome outdoor village environment. This one successfully had me on edge the whole way through, and there's a couple parts where I was chased by two monsters at once, which is impressive. It's also worth knowing that there's a third chapter of The Attic out now that I haven't played yet, but if the first two chapters are any indication, I'm sure the third one is worthwhile too. To be honest, I've liked all of Litronom's The Small Horse games, but the prologue is my favorite. It's no longer posted on Frictional Games Forum because it uses pirated sprites and maps from other games, but that doesn't damage how enjoyable it is to play. You start out the mod like this. Yeah, this is an amnesia mod. I mean, how cool is that? If you answer, it's not cool at all, man, you might be getting a little pissed at seeing The Small Horse present in my top 10, but just keep in mind, these are my top 10 favorites. Their personal choices, and although this is a quote joke mod, I thought it was hilarious to play and it provides a nice break from walking down poorly lit hallways and corridors all the time. Nepsis is an extremely well made custom story that successfully made the Karak water monster scary for me, whereas he wasn't before. In every custom story I've played, and even in the original stories, I always sort of rolled my eyes when the Karak was used. I mean, you can't see anything, and he's restricted to water, so what's so scary? Well, in Nepsis, the Karak is now on land, and the creator of this custom story pulled it off really well. It's not a particularly long custom story, and the story is pretty cerebral, but it's highly enjoyable. In fact, there's only one other non-full conversion mod out there that I think is higher quality than this. It's a really great custom story. La Casa won an award on ModDB for, well, being awesome, and it's appeared on a lot of top custom stories lists that I've read, so you could say that this one's a fan favorite. <laughs> Critical hit! <laughs> La Casa successfully makes you feel like you're in an ancient environment, more so than other custom stories I've played anyway. When you're playing La Casa, you truly feel like you're on the verge of awakening an ancient evil, and that's something that's hard to capture in a lot of these mods. The most memorable sequence for me is wandering through a library of bookcases being hunted by a brute that just refuses to go away. It's pretty good stuff. If the generic name didn't give it away, it needs to be said that Darkroom is a joke mod. Darkroom takes internet memes and merges them with the amnesia monsters, and the result is hilarious. It's short, but that's a good thing. It's one of the few custom stories I would actually want to play multiple times, just to relive the joke scares. It makes my top 5 just due to how enjoyable it was to play. If you want a break from pissing your pants all the time, but still want to play Amnesia, Darkroom's a good choice. This might be the most controversial placement on this list for some of the more hardcore Amnesia fans because it wasn't particularly well received among the custom story community, but I really liked Tenebrous Lake. Let's get a couple things out of the way first though. It's true that Tenebrous Lake doesn't really have a plot or a substantial story to speak of, and it's also true that the voice acting leaves much to be desired. And it's also true that some of the lighting is sloppy and the new monsters look a little stiff. Furthermore, although it was hyped up to have production value on par with White Knight, anyone who's played the two will most likely disagree. Hearing all that, you might wonder why I put it in my top three. 
Well, I really respect the amount of work that went into creating this custom story, and it has plenty of redeeming qualities. Are the multiple new monsters in this custom story the best looking in the world? No, but on the other hand, there are multiple new monsters. It's a nice change of pace over just another custom story featuring the Grunt, the Brute, and the Suitor as the sole enemies. There are also some pretty epic maps in the game and a hilarious easter egg. There are also multiple endings. Though the plot is pretty thin, I still enjoyed the fact that you could choose which ending you received. Do I think Tenebris Lake is on par with White Knight? No. Do I think it's pretty flawed? Yeah, but I still found its refreshing characteristics to outweigh some of the sloppiness. So that's why I've rated it so high. Poisonous is my favorite non-full conversion mod custom story. Let me just say that this custom story scared the living shit out of me. Poisonous has a great atmosphere, but at the same time gets away with frequent monster appearances. I'm not sure how the creator did it, but Poisonous managed to balance the two to an extent I haven't seen in any other custom story I've played. There's a section of the game towards the end that features a grunt that just won't quit. Normally in these amnesia custom stories, if you run and hide for long enough, the monster will generally just give up and leave you alone. This isn't the case in Poisonous, the monster chases you, and chases you, and chases you some more. Honestly, it gets to the point where I was pretty irritated, but this is a great custom story. Did I mention it has a story? Yeah, it does. And it's not just another, you wake up and don't remember anything, but you're in a scary mansion, so what the hell, let's explore, thing. You actually have a reason for exploring this place. Oh, and there are multiple endings, just throwing that out there. I love playing custom stories where you get to make choices. Anyway, that's my number two. I bet most of you can probably guess what number one is. Surprise! It's White Knight. Only the most lauded amnesia custom story ever. As much as I'd like to surprise you with some other choice for my number one custom story, I just can't. White Knight so perfectly masters the atmosphere of amnesia, mixed it with some original music, a completely new environment, creative puzzles, and gasp, even a story. White Knight doesn't feel like an amnesia custom story, it feels like a game of its own, which is something that I haven't seen other custom stories fully developed, and it really separates it from the pack. I really can't talk it up enough, you just have to play it for yourself if you haven't. And those are my top 10 favorite amnesia custom stories. Most of them you can download on moddb.com or check out the Frictional Games forum for more information on these mods. Till next time, think critically.